Sometimes there are days and months in a writer's life where nothing stirs if not from within. But in this month of September, many things happened. At the beginning of this month, I got news that my speculative short story, Dream Warriors Ramayan Redux, got picked up for publication at Triangulation Parch, USA. It was also one of the three short stories that got the Editor's Choice Awards. This month, the first batch of my tanka got picked up for publication at the Bamboo Hut. A tanka is a five-line verse written in the short, long, short, long, long format. Of course, there is an inherent link and shift, and we will talk more about the tanka in the next video blog. In the second week of this month, I went to the Haiku Utsav at SIS College, Mumbai, and met with a lot of hygiens who came from all over India, descending onto Mumbai. It was very interesting meeting them. When after sharing a cup of chai, we looked out of the window, all the hygiens thought of haiku moments, and I, looking at them, thought of story, character, drama, conflict. The way we are hardwired, even when we are like-minded. At the Haiku Utsav, I got a chance to read and interpret Master Hygien Laryali Fraser's works. Maybe in the next video blog, I will share those interpretations with you. Somewhere in the middle of this month, I got news that my e-book, The Arithmetic of Breasts and Other Stories, got shortlisted for the Digital Book of the Year Awards by Publishing Next. I went to Goa to attend the two-day Publishing Next conference and witnessed a micro-ecosystem of the small and big fish of the publishing world. It was a good way to find my place as a self-published author in this ecosystem. My book didn't win, but I can't say I came home less victorious. I met and made many friends, even if I didn't influence people. If you are wondering when the print version of this book would be out, that would be out in November. This book is 107 pages long and has seven and a half short stories in it. Now don't ask me what that half story is about. Go read it for yourself. I would expect a candid and honest opinion from you for that book on its Amazon and Flipkart pages. Do write in, your comments would matter a lot to me. This month, I did not participate in the 100,000 Poets for Change. But how about going down memory lane? Let me share two links from the last year's participation with you. I think all that happened this month will be enough to keep me going through the dry patches of my writing life, just as much as a camel's thirst through the desert. See you in October.